okay uh, today we will go from singular value decomposition to the polar decomposition first of all what is SVD and uh, most importantly we are talking about for n cross n matrices okay we are taking square matrices not rectangular okay what is an SVD for a matrix Singular value decomposition. This is singular value decomposition. Given a matrix A, we can write it as U, and this is called sigma and V transpose. Okay, if we just see these U and V are orthogonal matrices and this sigma here is a diagonal matrix uh, note that we are in n cross n okay this is important to note if it's not a square matrix then this will not this will not be a square matrix Okay, now what is polar decomposition? If you can remember, polar decomposition of a complex number is look like R E I theta. This is some positive real number, and this is a just a, a modulus one number which gives the direction similarly for matrices we have a is equal to qs where q is an orthogonal matrix and s is a positive semi-definite matrix Okay. Okay. So this we call our aim. Our aim is formed from SVD to polar decomposition. So we are given A, which is U sigma times V transpose. We simply write it as U. Okay. U and V are orthogonal. So U inverse is equal to U transpose, V inverse is equal to V transpose. And U U inverse is obviously is at identity. Okay, so we write it as U transpose wait a second. we just simply introduce here v transpose into v sigma v transpose this is identity we can just simply in place of identity we have written this okay now it is become product of two matrices a let us write them down separately so we have b is equal to u into v transpose also this u is an orthogonal matrix v is an orthogonal matrix so its transpose is also an orthogonal matrix and as product of two orthogonal matrices is orthogonal thus B is an orthogonal matrix okay so now we consider C now we consider this matrix 
see it carefully. So we take C is equal to V sigma V transpose. Okay, uh, first C is a positive semi definite matrix. Okay, there there are uh, many ways to see it. First of all, we will see that it is it is it is a symmetric too. Uh, it's not a big task. Just simply take the transpose, we transpose, and we take it transpose. So just take two of these first. And we get V transpose transpose and V sigma transpose, which is equal to V because transpose of transpose is V. And the product we know that switch it's sigma transpose into V transpose, which is as sigma transpose is equal to sigma. It's a diagonal matrix. So thus C is a symmetric matrix. Okay, we need to show that C is a positive semi definite matrix. First of all, just note this C is equal to V sigma V transpose. This is equal to V sigma V inverse because V is an orthogonal matrix and its inverse is its transpose. So, but we can see that C is similar to sigma. Do you agree with this? These are similar matrices. No issue in that. So C is similar to sigma and uh, sigma is a diagonal matrix. With all entries positive. So let's say AII diagonal elements are greater than or equal to zero. Thus C has all non negative eigenvalues as c is symmetric the c is positive semi definite This is another way around to prove this and simply the energy from energy thing. If you want uh, C was equal to V sigma V transpose, so we take V sigma V transpose X comma X and this is equal to sigma V transpose V transpose X. We just think we can just simply take this factor here and but it will become the transpose. Okay, here's x2. So now what is this? You can see that this is v, v transpose x, comma v transpose x. Both are same here, both these things. Let's take them y, which is greater than or equal to 0, as this is a positive semi definite matrix. The C is positive semi definite matrix. I have shown you two different ways to show this. Okay, hence, we have A is equal to BC. What was B? B was UV transpose into V transpose sigma V. Sorry. Is this transport and yeah. 
yeah it's like this and this is uh, orthogonal this is positive semi definite thus we can write a as polar decomposition So we have gone from the SVD to the polar decomposition.